Uh, I'm from Kenton, Ohio. It's uh, about an hour south of Toledo. My house is in the middle of nowhere. It's an old farmhouse, uh, about 2,200 acres. We have pigs, and then we also um, have corn, beans, and wheat. When I go back home, I uh, work for my dad a lot. I'm usually planting the crops, you know, corn and beans, and uh, in, the, in the fall I'd, I'd be harvesting, but usually basketball interferes with the fall, so there's, uh, there's always odds and ends uh, tractors to fix. Uh, we have 2,000 pigs. I like, I like to take care of the pigs. Uh, I've, I've always enjoyed livestock. We have cycles that come through each every 22 weeks before we sell them, so you know you don't get too attached. But I always enjoy uh, taking care of them. No, I, I don't do uh, pig impersonations. I don't do give, I don't give them any stand up acts or anything while they're in the barns or anything like that. Uh, major in psychology. If I was going to go into psychology, I think sports psychology would be where I wanted to ahead because I think a lot of times athletes you know we're so worried about our bodies and training our bodies but no one really thinks about your mind um, when you get to the stage your mind is more important than anything so you have to be able to take care of it and um, nourish it as well as you do your body I meditate before the game but um, as far as little uh, tricks and things to help me refocus there's there's a million things that I do uh, while I'm on the court that I, I do now that maybe I hadn't done in the past usually I just lay in my bed put on my headphones um, lay down just kind of 15 minutes just focus on breathing uh, the whole point of meditating is just to focus on just the moment um, you can't think about anything what's going to happen or what has happened so you just kind of stay present on just the breath for you know as long as you can and it's, it's very challenging if you ever try to lay down and think about just breathing um, it clears your head very quickly and it's always been something that's helped me after basketball I'll, I'll, I'll definitely move back to the farm and start working uh, hopefully I'll be playing basketball for a while still um, hope to pursue something professionally but after that then uh, I think farming is where I want to take my career. It's a business for us too, it's, at, it's how our family makes a living. I'm actually the seventh generation to uh, be a part of it and uh, hopefully I'll be able to carry it on and there'll be an eighth. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can get, get a few people to come back and visit, uh, get a different experience, uh, broaden their cultural horizons. Eric Atkins is going to make a trip, yeah you know, the, get, him on the, get him on the farm and, and pay him and get him to work. <laughs> Garrick Sherman, student. Athlete Irish.